When we moved from Florida, she was in fourth grade. Great marks in fourth grade. We get here, they put her in fifth grade automatically. Once the year starts going through, they realize, hey, she's not quite where she needs to be. The differences in education from one region to another, one state to another, it's very disheartening that, you know, she's doing so well and then we get here and she's doing not great. She's still doing great, but it's she's not at that level that she should be compared to her peers in another location. When the whole decision came back with holding her back uh, in fifth grade, uh, the teachers asked us. It was our decision in the long run and we decided to hold her back because we didn't want to see her struggle even more than she had to. She gets really frustrated, you can tell. She gets very emotional about it um, when we first had to tell her, hey, we're going to repeat fifth grade, but it was better for her only because if we would have sent her up to sixth grade when you know, to follow that linear path, she would have been in double math classes, double reading classes, having, you know, more work, not being able to take any of those extracurricular math classes or art classes or anything like that. It was hard because all my friends from Florida. Tell me about it. What was hard? Leaving. I know my daughter's strong. I know she can make friends. I know it's hard for her to make friends, um, but I know she would. Uh, it's the academic and trying to keep her up on par with all the other kids and not fall behind. Seeing my daughter struggle uh, motivated me to get my teaching degree to be able to help the kids out. We don't know where we're going yet, but depending on where we're going, the school system could be even even better or worse than where we're at now. The standards should be straight across the board throughout the whole country, uh, not just in one place being higher than the other. 